All right, welcome to my Avatar Elements Water Chakra Challenge Guide. So if we come to the Avatar Battle Pass, we have to collect chakras in order to unlock the free Appa Glider. And you've got to complete six of those. Like I said, we have the water available today. Now, in addition to unlock tiers on the Battle Pass, we have to unlock Chi. So for each challenge, it looks like you get 350 Chi. And then to get a chakra, you've got to complete all the quests. So what do we have to do? Visit an elemental shrine. It shows you literally where they all are. Deal damage to opponents with water bending, a thousand. You could actually do that in Team Rumble. That'll be super easy. Land on water from the bus. Okay, plenty of water on the map. Steve, passive healing with water bending by entering water. Again, pretty easy. Destroy a cabbage cart. This one's assistable, but it doesn't show you where they are. And then restore shield. So these are super, super easy. So Team Rumble is obviously your best bet. Let's see if we can get them all done. I don't know if the elemental shrines show up there, so we'll find out. Let's go take a look. All right, let's try a shrine real quick. I hope nobody will land right here, but let's try it out. I imagine there's only one scroll available at each of these, but I don't know. This is my first match, so we'll find out. I see the shrine up top. Oh, you only have to visit there. I thought you had to grab the scroll. Okay, I'm dumb. Now, wait a minute. They don't have guaranteed scrolls here? Or did I just miss it? I don't see any chests or anything. What the heck? Okay, we have to land on water from the bus. Let's see if gliding actually counts for that. So we're gonna pretend that we're gliding in from the bus in Team Rumble. This might actually work. So we're gonna just glide right down here and land in the water and it may actually count. Trick in the system. There we go. And it did not. But maybe when we die and then respawn, it might count. Then we have to restore 500 shields. So in Team Rumble, the good news is you can use a Flowberry Fizz all the way down to 5%. And then when you die and respawn, it'll be back to 100. So watch this. I'm going to stop at 5. Right there. And as you can see, before we even respawn, it's at 100. So that should be pretty easy. Now let's land right in water. Here's water right here. After dying, will this count as jumping from the battle bus? Dun, 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 dun. It does, yes. Oh, you gotta do it twice? Okay, well, we could do that. Hey, more shields here too. So I think cabbage carts are located near reboot vans. Let's just See if we can find one up here. Someone probably destroyed one already, if there was. So the reboot vans don't even spawn in Team Rumble. So there's normally a reboot van over here by Ship It Express. And look at that, there is a cabbage stand right here. So the reboot van is normally right here. And here's a cabbage stand. This is what it looks like. So you just got to break it or shoot it. I wonder if it gives you cabbages. It does. That's cool. Gobble all those up. Wow, eight of them. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, basically, we need the water bending mythic now. Oh, there's a cabbage cart right here. Let me mark it. This is right by fencing fields. Right there. Someone must be like lagged out because I'm hearing nonstop gunfire. What is that? Who is shooting? Oh, is that a mythic right there? Yes! Water bending? Yes! Let's go! Okay, so for this one, we have to heal 25 damage. So let's take a little fall damage here. Is this gonna do 25? Oh, that did a lot. Then we hop in the water, and you literally just heal as you sit in the water. See if we can get this guy as well. What is this glitch? Okay, we got that done. Now we gotta deal a lot of damage. Heal up a little bit. Ha! I think I got smoked. Remember to take this down to 5%. Okay. Those guys come back for more. Oh, we got him. 
This thing's super strong. Holy crap. You die real quick with this. Okay, so here's another one of these shrines. I just want to see if you can actually get the scroll right away. Oh, you can. Look at that. Okay. So it gives you two of them. Now, how come I didn't see that at the first place I went to? I don't know. So in one match, as you saw, I got 883 damage. So I need about 50 more shield. Once I die, I'm going to land in water. And then we need about two or three kills with the water bending, And then we're done. Just like that. Ah, uh, here's a 50 pot. This will get the quest done. At least for the shields. Ta-da! Let's go. Okay, we just need to land in water. Right here should do the trick. Ta-da! Aha! Educated boar. Okay, we need pretty much one more limb. That's it. Yeet, yeet, yeet. <laughs> it's Educated Boar again. We got him, and we completed it. Super, super easy quest. All right, I just want to try the fire one out real quick. So you can't really aim this one. It just goes quick. But you could shoot it fast. Holy smokes. Sir, I just want to try the fire out. Sir! Oh, wow. I couldn't tell how much damage it did because he kept running. Sir, I want to try the fire. Forty damage a piece? Holy smokes. Try the leg drop. Kamehame. Ha! We missed. Eighty. Okay, here you go. Water bend me, sir. There you go. He must have been looking for the water bending. Oh, he had earth bending too. Let's try that out. Rock wall? Rock lobster. Can you break it? Oh, yeah. Wait, how many can you put up? So that has quite a cooldown. All right, so if you complete all the quests today, aka the water chakra ones, you get the elemental cycle spray. You get the baffled ang, if you have the premium version. You get the four elements banner. That's pretty sweet. You get the banner icon. You get 2,100 chi, and then a and then another banner icon. So the highlight's definitely the four elements banner. Pretty cool. So we have to wait pretty much three days until the next quest, unfortunately. But you can get some chi from Discovery Quest, aka Creative 2.0. However, if you don't do any Discovery Quest, this is where you should be at at the end of the challenges today. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.